Hello everyone, and welcome to episode one of a Minecraft Odyssey, um, a Minecraft vanilla Let's Play survival uh, by me, Odyssey, uh, on Amplified, by the way. And uh, man, I am so excited to do this series. Um, this is something I've been wanting to do for a really, really long time, and I've just not gotten around to do it. I don't know why. I think maybe I just was uncertain whether or not I could make a successful series. Would people want to watch the videos I made? Um, but I finally just said, you know, I just need to just start it and at least try and just have some fun with it and try and upload as many videos as I can. And so that's what we're doing now. Um, I guess it's kind of standard to talk about kind of your style and what your your goals are uh, when you get started on one of these things. So uh, I figured I'd do that. Um, I do like to do a lot of redstone. If you pay attention to my channel, I've uploaded uh, quite a few redstone designs. Um, I like to do a lot of automation and stuff, but I'm not... To, I'm not one of the guys who, even though I, I like to do a lot of redstone and automation, that I just go and like flatten the spawn area and try and build the biggest farms popular, or the biggest farms possible. I also like to try and um, make things look good too. I like to maintain sort of the mat natural beauty of the area, and uh, yeah, so kind of different in that sense. I feel like I have a good balance between doing redstone and automation, but also building things and and whatnot. Um, I've been trying to figure out how I'm going to structure the series, and um, I've been kind of paying attention to some bigger YouTubers' channels and seeing what they do, and I kind of like the style that Etho does, where, you know, it's not all just we're going to play and record everything, you know, there's a lot of kind of off-camera work, and, uh, you know, there's a, it's more of like, a, like an update style, like a project log almost, like, kind of like a tell you what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it and if I have any challenges um, explain what the challenge is and what I'm going to try and do to help it and kind of, you know not too much recording of medial tasks and stuff like that um, do I have well, I'm, oh, I'm on peaceful redstone worlds but yeah I like to play on hard as well um, which let's be honest isn't actually that hard um, but yeah so uh, I got some big goals for this series uh, I want to make a series, uh oh, I hear a skeleton, or not a skeleton, but a zombie already. Um, I don't want to just make one of those series that only lasts for like a 20 episodes or something, and uh, why is he not tracking me? Huh. Oh, there he comes. Um, I, you know, I'm, I want to make like a, one of those worlds that have hundreds of episodes, and they last for a long time, and you know, that you... I want a long running almost like sort of never ending world and I want to make it look really awesome and uh, just build on it for a long time and so that people will get interested in it and might want to know like how it got to that point and uh, I'm not really worried about views and stuff like that starting out uh, because I know things like this um, not many people are going to watch this you know at least the first couple dozen episodes or oh, I don't want that again I want to stone one for the first couple dozen episodes it's one of those things where it's kind of like a if you build it they will come sort of scenario um so like if you if you make a cool world and a cool base and farms and eventually people will just find it and so i'm not going to really concern myself with how many views the series is getting <coughs> um i'm just going to try and just keep on doing it and uh come here. Come here. and yes i'm attacking a zombie with a pickaxe very noobish but I have no tools and no weapons. It's a uh, a matter of desperation. Go back. Oh, give me that shovel. That would save me a lot of time. Give me the iron shovel. Um, yeah, but I have some big goals for the series. Um, one of the things I want to do is I want to create a base that's entirely centered around like this giant minecart warehouse thing. It's all automated using minecarts, having items. Uh, taken to this warehouse uh, by minecarts from automated farms and then I want to have that like separate from um, let's see what I'm going to build here I'm going to build an axe for some trees uh, separate from my storage room so like I have a giant warehouse that's completely automated using minecarts and then a separate store uh, storage like present what's the word I'm looking for a presentable like make it look good and then have that have items automatically taken to it um, from the warehouse and that is easier said than done uh, that's like a huge like year long I don't even know how I'm gonna do that it's just something I do want to do um, but I have lots of other goals as well and uh, 
yeah, I think what I need to do right now is I'm having a bit of trouble taking care of some medial task and talking. So I'm just going to get started on a few things, uh, gather a few materials, some coal, uh, some iron, and then uh, also I'll probably start a little cow farm, a little wheat farm, and a sugarcane farm. Pretty much the, uh, you know, the basic standard stuff you got to start in your world. And I might do a little bit of flattening up here as well. Um, like I mentioned before, I don't like doing a whole bunch of flattening and stuff, but I just need a little bit of an area to to like plant some some wheat farm stuff. I think I'll take it down to the level of this pond. So uh, yeah, so I'll take care of that stuff, get a little bit, of, a few things going, and then I'll get back to you. All right, guys, what's up? Got some stuff done around the. Uh, around uh well I can't even call it an abode or around the house, just around the area at the moment. And man, these guys are relentless. One thing I've already noticed about the uh, Amplified is that, man, the mobs, they just come from everywhere because there's so many dark areas. Um, good thing I like to build underground, so hopefully we'll be safe from that. But I've uh, got a little wheat farm going here and a uh, little sugarcane farm. I didn't get started on the cow farm yet. I'll, I'll wait for the, for the wheat to grow. But I figured I'd show you guys around the seed because I love this seed. Um, like it has everything I wanted when I was looking like all my all my criteria uh, I really like the amplified but the one thing I I didn't like is I you know all the cool areas seem to be like 200 blocks in the in the air and <laughs> I didn't want to like have my my base up there it's really inconvenient so I like the way this has like this just really nice looking plateau it's kind of in between um, it's not 200 blocks in the air but at the same time it's up above the water I also wanted to be near a uh, near a swamp because it's really the only flat biome in the Amplified, and it's kind of nice to have a flat biome somewhere around you. Um, and yeah, it just looks awesome. Like I got all the good mobs. I got cows up there. I got sheep. I'm eating pork. By the way, I'm eating pork because I've, from past experience, um, from past mistakes, I've learned that it's not good to wipe out your, uh, your local cow population because uh, then you have to go find new ones to bring them at your base. And I cannot imagine something that would be more painful and trying to lead cows to your base in an amplified world. <laughs> like, could you imagine? Um, like, they'd be all falling off stuff. Um, and yeah, there'd be mobs chasing you. No, thank you. So, for the time being, I'm going to eat pork until I get a, uh, a little cow farm going. Don't have very, ma uh, very many materials yet. Got some eggs, though, so that's nice. Um, by the way, I uh, didn't show you guys my skin. I'm sure some people want to know. Um, I am rocking the, the Spike Spiegel skin for all you uh, uh, Cowboy Bebop fans out there. Although, I gotta say, I'm not really impressed with the hair. It's just not quite uh, Spike Spiegel without the hair. But I do like the suit, so I'll work with it. Um, but man, this area is, is just so, so cool looking. Like, I haven't even done anything yet to it. All I've done is level out the ground a little bit, and it already looks amazing. <laughs> like, it, you know, we got this nice green grass. This little lake, the majestic horses over there, big rock face. I'm definitely going to do something uh, with that. And there's this big hole over here. And I think uh, that's where I'm going to start my mine at. Because uh, one thing I did realize is that uh, we are, where's my F3? Um, we are up at Y115. And there is no iron. <laughs> no iron at all. Um, I think iron starts generating at like Y60 or something. So we're going to have to dig down quite a ways. Um, before we get to that, hello horse. I like those uh, those colored horses. Um, yeah, I th I'm not even gonna muck around with like staircasing or anything like that. Um, I'm just gonna go straight to digging a three by three hole uh, straight down in the ground, so that way I can keep it uh, in the spawn chunks. And then I'm, when I get to like Y11 or Y14 or something, I'm just gonna start branch mining. So yeah, I'm gonna get on top of that stuff. Um, start digging down. Go make a mine. Probably get some iron and stuff. Uh, start on a cow farm, yeah. But uh, cool. It actually it's amazing how how better it looks just by uh, leveling it out a little bit and uh, seeing the lake. I'm already like <laughs> I already got so many ideas, uh, like things to things to build. It's uh it's crazy. The juices are flowing. What is that? Oh, tree burnt down from the lava. Yeah, pretty cool. Well, anyways, uh, do some mining, do some stuff like that, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Man, check this place out. I haven't even done anything yet, and it looks official. <laughs> I just love this area. I've said that like three times now, but, man, I'm excited. But anyways, um, I got a little cow pin and a little uh, sheep pin going over here. Um, and the way this works, I'm sure everyone already knows knows about this by now. Um, the player can jump up on this carpet, but the mobs can't, so it makes for a, v a very convenient little uh, pin. 
And uh, I wanted to uh, talk about the mob tracking capabilities in the 1.8 uh, snapshots. Now the cows I wasn't worried about because they were I got them from right there. But the uh, sheep, I had to go like a hundred blocks in that direction, and um, I <laughs> I anticipated it being very difficult because it was way down there and I had to climb up this big thing, and I actually managed to do it in one go, like no stops. And that was <laughs> I was actually pretty darn impressed. So I think they uh, they improved the the mob tracking capability. So uh, kudos to uh, Mojang for that. But Anyways, I've uh, been working on my little wood farm. I've got a little tree farm over here and working on getting some ladders uh, to get started on the mine over here. And I've noticed that our little mine area over here has become somewhat of like an impromptu um, mob trap. Uh, the sheep and the horses have been getting down in there and then they can't get back out. And I'm going to have to figure out a way to keep the horses from going down into my mine. Uh, the sheep, I don't really care about. I'll just kill them. But the horses, I don't want them to go down my mine shaft. Um, so I'm going to have to figure something out. I think I'll be able to just uh, put a too high roof, um, or like a, a roof with only two block space underneath. And I think uh, that will only allow me to go down the mine shaft and it will keep the horses out. But I don't, I don't exactly recall what the horse's hitbox is. I think it's over two blocks. I could be wrong. I'll have to look that up. Um, but I'll just have to figure out a way to keep them out of the mine shaft. And then I'll get started on uh, digging our 3x3 three three hole there all the way down to uh, diamond level. Uh, but yeah, just a quick little update. I really enjoy the way this is uh, coming along. Oh, by the way, I got pumpkins. So if you look back in that uh, that corner way back there, you'll see some little pumpkins maybe. And I just went and grabbed one of them and uh, got a little pumpkin farm started. But yeah, so things are coming along. And I'll uh, update you guys in a bit. Hmm, so I don't know uh, what I was thinking about the horse's hitbox, um, but horses can definitely fit in a two block space. I think I was just uh, thinking about when a player rides on a horse, um, but anyways, uh, that's not going to work, so I just used a little uh, trap door here, which is going to work for now, um, but I was kind of wanting this to all stay open to the sky, like all the whole mine shaft, so that way even if you're at the bottom, you could kind of look up and uh, look at the night sky and stuff, but so I think somewhere between uh, this episode and next episode, I'm just going to get some leads and uh, get these horses out of here and then just put a fence around the whole top so that way they can't get back down. Um, but yeah, so I got a whole bunch of stuff. I ran into a whole bunch of uh, granite and diorite and andesite and stuff, which was pretty cool. Got a bunch of cobblestone. And I actually managed to find a little bit of iron, but I only found enough to uh, to make a sword and a, and a pickaxe. But I found something even more interesting, so let's go ahead and go down and take a look. Uh, you can see all the tons of uh, granite and diorite. I was mining all of it at the beginning, but then I was like, <laughs> I'll just save it for later. Because there's a whole lot more than I thought there was. So I'm going to jump off right here. And this right now, or right here, is where I ran into the problem. Um, so we're right above a ravine system. Um, and that's really good for like building and stuff like that in future projects. But for starting out, um, it's kind of a hassle. It's uh, it puts a little bit of a dink in my uh, in my branch mine idea, because I don't have any armor or anything right now, and it's full of mobs down there. Um, and I I'm just gonna have a real battle trying to uh, mine while uh, defending off mobs and stuff. So I'm gonna just take a peek down here. And making this little pillar right here was a bit of a hassle. I'm actually surprised that I managed to do it without dying. I got knocked off like five times by skeletons and stuff, uh, but I managed to pillar up. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get this place lit up um, until I can actually start mining. And a lot of people, uh, when these blocks first came out, they commented on how they didn't like the way they they generated in the world. But man, I think it looks awesome. Like all oh, the andesite and diorite, it makes the underground ravines and stuff just look so much more textured. I really enjoy it. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to... What's back here? Oh. No. Oh no. <laughs> I'm taking out my uh, my torches. That was not a smart idea. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to explore a little bit, try and get this place lit up. I wonder where all the mobs at. I am, I'm not, I'm still on hard, right? Yeah, I think that's one thing I have noticed about Amplified that is kind of nice, is that there's so many areas above ground where the mobs can spawn um, that you don't ever really get mobbed uh, down here underground just because there's so many mobs always in the world. Yeah, but anyways, I'm going to get this place lit up um, and do a little bit of exploring. And then hopefully after that, I'll be able to start doing some mining and stuff. But uh, yeah, so see you guys in a bit. Oh, here we are, guys. I found it. And uh, pretty much uh, 
it's it's a cornerstone of of any let's play. Uh, the first time you mind this, y you gotta show it on camera. Um, and in fact, you could argue your survival world hasn't even begun until you've done this. And uh, I even I even got a a sign here, or I should make one anyways. I think I'm even gonna make a sign to uh, to mark the uh, the event. And uh, of course, you guys know what I'm talking about. It's the uh, the first time you mine redstone. And here it is, guys. It's a historic moment. Boom! Right there. First time redstone mined in this world. Um, let's see, what should we say? Uh, the Odyssey begins. Yep, that's it. First time mined redstone. It's it's a proud moment. It's it's uh, it's a big deal. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty happy. Well, anyways, um, yeah, that's about it. I mean, we got work to do, so that was fun. But uh, yeah, let's get back to the task at hand. All right, so I've uh, been gathering some iron, and I've been going around lighting the place up. And I just found a dungeon off to the left, but I just got attacked by a witch. So um, let's see if we can survive this. Hopefully. No, die, 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 die. Oh, okay. Okay, dungeon to the left, and it looks like a zombie dungeon. So, that actually didn't turn out. Oh, and there's a skeleton in there. I don't want to find a skeleton right now. Although, I do have, uh, I did manage to find enough iron to get uh, a chest plate and some boots. So, I'm doing pretty good now. Oh, hello, redstone. Come here. Uh. Alright, let's see. Efficiency four, not bad, not bad. There was when these, uh, the, when they first started putting uh, books into uh, dungeons and stuff, you used to get a whole bunch of them. But ever since, uh, I don't know, one of the updates, you don't get very many books anymore. You get a bunch of records. So I get really excited anytime I find, uh, anytime I find something like that. What I need to do now is I need to write down the coordinates of this place before I forget. Oh, my inventory's full. Um, what do we not want? Zombie flesh. Alright, so. That was fun. <laughs> and I'll get back to you guys in a little bit. Alright, so we've actually got some uh, resources gathered now. Um, as you can see, we got a good amount of iron and some gold. And also, we actually have enough diamonds to make a pickaxe and an enchantment table. Um, but I don't have enough leather at the moment to do a full... Level uh, level 30 enchantment. I think you need 45 leather uh, to make enough bookcases to do a full-on enchant. And I lost all my levels anyways. Um, I, I've actually died twice already. Uh, both times I got knocked off by a skeleton as I was going up and down this ladder, which is, you know, I sort of thought was going to happen. Uh, ravines are dangerous. But now I got a uh, water drop down there at the bottom, so hopefully we don't die like that again. Um, in between this episode and next episode... Uh, I'm, I'm going to work to get our leather supplies up to about 45 or higher. And uh, by the time we do that, our levels, our XP will probably be back up to level 30 anyway. So no big deal. We should be able to do a, a full enchant uh, by the beginning of next episode. And also uh, between this one episode and next, um, I'm going to get those horses out of there, I think, and try and get this area fenced off some way so they don't go down to my mine. Um, but before we end the episode, I kind of wanted to uh, give you guys an aerial view of our future home here. So, uh, yeah, let's do that. Oh, the beautiful night sky. Oh. <laughs> and a, uh, uh -oh. oh, getting attacked by two guys, double team. Um, yeah, so I got a little distracted. Um, I went on an adventure, uh, killed some mobs, leveled up a little bit. Uh, and I've been coming to this swamp island at night time, trying to get some uh, some slime balls, so that way we can make some leather leads and whatnot. Um, because it is almost a full moon, so it's a good time as any to go do that. Lots of mobs though, I've been getting attacked from everywhere. Um, I also got a rare drop from a zombie, so I got some uh, golden leggings now, fire protection 2, um, breaking 3, pretty good. And they got a lot of durability left on them too, so that was awesome. Um, but we do, we're getting a little good little stockpile of slime balls now. Uh, we'll, we'll be able to make some leather leads and uh, tie up those horses, get them out of our mine shaft. Uh, but what I want to do is I got a couple stacks of dirt here. And um, I want to try and pillar up and get a bird's eye view of our base, which is actually just right over that way. 
um, you can actually kind of see the torches almost on the on the side of the mountain. Uh, but I want to get a good view of it uh, before we start building stuff on it. And, uh, you know, so that way maybe sometime in the future uh, we can look back and be like, hey, this is what this place used to look like. Um, and this is how far we've come. And uh, maybe do a little planning too, you know, try and think about what we might want to build first. And I don't know, just get a good view of it. Um, I got two stacks or two and a half stacks of dirt here. It may feel like our base is kind of at the bottom of some mountains, but it's actually like 120 blocks in the air, so we're going to have to get up pretty high. And, uh, oh, the sun, I was thinking the, uh, the, I'm getting some lag. You know, I think that's, uh, I got Firefox open. I probably shouldn't be, uh, having the internet open while I'm trying to record. But I'm going to try and get a good view here. Uh-oh. You know what, let me re-log real quick. I think I got few too many applications open or something and we're back oh, oh my mouse is stuck all right there we go let's go up a little bit higher um, and I think I want to get a little bit closer that direction so I'm gonna come out like this a little bit farther I kind of want to get outside of the fog is that good? Oh man, look at that. I want to get a little bit closer. A little bit closer. That is awesome. That is amazing looking. Wow. You know what? If that's not a screenshot, I don't know what is. Nice. <laughs> oh man. Um, I've been looking around this place a little bit off camera. And I have noticed a few really cool looking areas. Um, one in particular is uh, that waterfall. I wonder what that lag is coming from. I can't get rid of it. You know what? It might be the Steam client. I do have my Steam client open. Uh, but anyways, there's a little cool little uh, waterfall area up there. And there's almost like a path that goes right up to it. I think at some point I should put in like a road right there. That would look really cool. Um, but there's a little base camp right there. Uh, pretty neat. Seeing it from this far away. And there's this cool little uh, uh, cave area right there. It doesn't go back very far. It only goes back like 10 blocks. But to me, that really looks like the entrance to a, an underground base or something. And uh, one of my plans is I want to have really large, expansive underground areas where I do all my like redstone and stuff like that. And uh, sort of like a, a hidden base. And then above ground is I want to make that look all good with paths and trees and plazas and whatnot. I think one of the first things we need to do is... Uh, is dig out a little area down there and start, you know, make that HQ and then just move on from there. Um, I should make a tunnel going over to our little mine shaft over there and then just start from there. I mean, there's so many good building areas uh, in this area right here. I don't even really know where to start. So I think the best thing to do is just to start with something. Um, yeah, and I think that's probably what we'll do. And now that we got a good little view, I think I'm going to have to end the episode here. Um, I hope you guys are excited for this Let's Play as I am. I, I'm i really intrigued to see like what we're able to do, how much this changes over time. And uh, yeah, so I guess with that, we'll have to end the episode. And I will see you guys next time.